This sound file contains the spoken version of a Wikipedia article on Cyclone Elita. It is recorded by user S underscore Whistler, and the material was recorded on the 12th of March, 2012. Cyclone Elita, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Cyclone Elita. Cyclone Elita was an unusual tropical cyclone that made landfall on Madagascar three times, the fifth named storm of the 2003-2004 Southwest Indian Ocean cyclone season. Elita developed in the Mozambique Channel on the 24th of January 2004. It strengthened to become a tropical cyclone before striking northwestern Madagascar on January 28th. Elita weakened to tropical depression status while crossing the island, and after exiting into the southwest Indian Ocean, it turned to the west and moved ashore in eastern Madagascar on January 31st. After once again crossing the island, the cyclone reached the Mozambique Channel and re-intensified. Elita turned to the southeast to make its final landfall on February the 3rd along southwestern Madagascar. Two days later, it underwent an extra-tropical transition. The remnant system moved erratically before dissipating on February the 13th. Elita dropped heavy rainfall of more than 200 millimeters, 8 inches, which damaged or destroyed thousands of homes in Madagascar. Over 50,000 people were left homeless, primarily in Mahajanga and Toliara provinces. Flooding from the storm ruined more than 450 square kilometers, 170 square miles, of agricultural land, including important crops for food. Across the island, the cyclone caused 33 deaths, with its impacts further compounded by Cyclone Gafilo about two months later. Elsewhere, Elita brought rainfall and damage to Mozambique and Malawi, and its outer wind circulation produced rough seas and strong gusts in the Seychelles, Mauritius, and Reunion. Contents Meteorological History Impact Aftermath Meteorological History An area of thunderstorms developed in the Mozambique Channel on January 25, 2004, about 95 kilometers, 60 miles, west of Madagascar. Deep convection developed and organized around a mid- to low-level circulation, and at 6 a.m. UTC on January 28th, Meteo France, MFR, classified the system as Tropical Disturbance 6, about 105 kilometers, 65 miles west, of Main Tirano, Madagascar. Six hours later, it was upgraded to Tropical Depression 6, and later that day the depression was named Elita. At the same time, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center began issuing advisories on the cyclone. Strengthening at first was slow, due to moderate wind shearing limiting the convection to the northern portion of the cyclone. Initially, the storm tracked in an unusual northward motion towards the equator, which was caused by a ridge to its west. Early on January 27th, Elita was upgraded to a moderate tropical storm, though later that day it weakened to tropical depression status. However, it quickly reattained tropical storm status early on January 28th, with convection increasing further. Elita turned east southeastward due to a ridge to its north, quickly intensifying as it approached land and developing a well defined eye on the visible satellite imagery. It intensified to tropical cyclone status, or the equivalence of a minimal hurricane, at 12 o'clock UTC on January 28th. Three hours later, Elita made landfall on Bombatoka Bay in northwestern Madagascar, with wind gusts of over 180 kilometers an hour, 110 miles per hour. The storm rapidly weakened to tropical depression status over land, though, as it crossed the land, convection redeveloped over the waters east of Madagascar. Elita reached the southwest Indian Ocean by January 30th, and its convection quickly organized into rain bands. It drifted southward a short distance offshore, slowly intensifying before attaining tropical storm status at midnight, UTC, on January 31st. About six hours later, after turning to the west, 
Elita moved ashore near Man and Jerry, with winds of about seventy-five kilometers, forty-five miles per hour, as reported by MFR. The cyclone quickly weakened to tropical depression status as it tracked westwards across Madagascar, and late on January 31st, it emerged into the Mozambique Channel. Deep convection increased as it reached open waters, with outflow improving. A strengthening ridge to the north caused Elita to decelerate before turning to the east-southeast. Late on February 2nd, the JTWC assessed Elita with peak winds of 120 kilometers an hour, 75 miles an hour, and shortly thereafter, MFR reported the cyclone as attaining peak winds of 110 kilometers an hour, 70 miles per hour. Early on February the 3rd, Elita moved ashore near Morandava at peak intensity. Weakening rapidly while crossing the island for a third time, the cyclone emerged into the southwest Indian Ocean as a tropical depression by midnight UTC on February 4th. Despite initial forecasts of re-intensification, Elita accelerated southeastwards and lost its remaining convection, leaving its center exposed under the influence of a strong upper-level trough. By February 5th, it had transitioned into an extratropical cyclone, and its motion had halted due to weak steering currents. For about a week, the remnants of Elita meandered to the southeast of Madagascar before dissipating on February the 13th. Elita's crossing of Madagascar three times is unusual, but not unprecedented. Severe tropical storm Felicia in January 1970 and storm Justine in March 1982 accomplished the same feat. Impact The Mozambique National Institute of Meteorology advised people living in Nampula, Zambezia, Sofala and in Humbane provinces to make preparations for strong winds and rainfall. In Nampula province, over 2,000 buildings were destroyed. The most severe damage was generally to poorly built houses in Memba, Nakala Avelha, Mogingkul, and Nampula city. In the latter city, an Islamic school was badly damaged, and in Nakla Avelha, survivors had to spend the night of January 29th in the open. All in all, Elita impacted four provinces of Mozambique. Much of the impact was along the coast from Inhambane to Nampula. The flow of the storm brought moisture from the intertropical convergence zone through Malawi, which produced heavy rainfall of over 150 millimeters, six inches. The rainfall destroyed more than 80 houses and a clinic in Karonga district. The storm brought rough seas, gusty winds, and some participation to the southwestern islands in the Seychelles. Upon making its first landfall on Madagascar, Elita dropped heavy rainfall along its path, peaking at 715 millimeters, 28.1 inches, including a 24-hour total of 222 millimeters, 8.74 inches, in Ansoihi. Wind gusts reached over 180 kilometers an hour, 110 miles per hour, in Mahajanga. The passage of the cyclone left 5,000 people homeless in the vicinity of the first landfall, with 90% of the buildings in the northwestern Mahajanga province damaged by the storm. At least two people were killed in the region. Throughout the country, Cyclone Elita destroyed or severely damaged 12,408 homes which left 55,983 people homeless, primarily in Mahajanga and Toliara. This forced around 7,000 people to seek shelter in either stadiums or the remaining standing buildings. Additionally, a total of 510 schools and hospitals received major damage. The cyclone affected five of the six provinces of Madagascar, with roads and power being severely disrupted in some areas. At least 39 bridges were damaged or destroyed. The cities of Main Tirano and Soavinadriana were both severely damaged. In Medongiatissimo, heavy rainfall flooded 80% of the town's rice crop, and the corn and manioc crops were both similarly affected. These represent the staple foods of the population, 
and across the nation the storm damaged more than four hundred and fifty square kilometres one hundred and seventy square miles of agricultural land throughout madagascar the cyclone killed at least thirty three people and injured one hundred and twenty nine others the extratropical remnants of Elita produced rough seas and strong winds on Mauritius and Reunion Island, which caused one ship to sink. Aftermath On February thirteenth, two 2004, officials in Madagascar issued an appeal for international aid. By a month after the storm, the governments of France, the United States, Germany, and Japan sent a total of $287,000 in assistance, the government of France sent a plane with food, medicine, and other equipment to the affected areas. The government of Germany sent aid to be used for foods and medicines. On February the 27th, the government of Japan sent aid to the country, including tents, generators, and plastic sheets. Officials distributed emergency relief items to the affected areas, including rice, sugar, soap, candles, matches, and water purification tablets. In Morondava, in the Toliara province, the government distributed four tons of rice seed, while in Ambatalampi, in, in Antananarivo province, the government sent ten tons of rice. Additionally, the World Food Programme sent eighty tons of flour to the nation. The combined efforts of the United Nations and age agencies repaired the schools and distributed meals to the families affected by the disaster. Workers in association with the Madagascar Red Cross set up a water system that provided about 45,000 litres gallons, of drinkable water per day. The impact of Cyclone Alita was severely compounded by Cyclone Gafilo about two months later, which killed hundreds and left over 240,000 people homeless.